Hey, what's up guys? Big Tony here, and today we're going to be decorating the interior of the big cottage house from our last video. So before we start any building though, let's take a tour of the place. So when you first walk inside the house, you have a little entryway here with a shelf to place some things. And connected to it, we have a kitchen slash dining area, which includes a place for your pet to sit. So that's our kitchen, and then through these doors here, we have a storage room with lots of chests. And don't worry if this isn't enough, because there will be more chests elsewhere. Then if we go back through our kitchen and dining area and through this entryway here, we have our survival workshop area. And in here there's tons of different crafting benches, furnaces, chests, and basically everything you need for survival. And we also have a little sectioned off area with a level 30 enchanting table. So that's it for our first floor. And if we go up these stairs to the second floor we have a loft area with some rooms leading off from it. And you've probably noticed by now that I sort of used a red theme throughout the house. But of course you can use whatever color you'd prefer. So first of all through these doors we have a big bedroom. And through these doors we have a smaller bedroom. Which comes with an extra storage space. And through this final set of doors we have an alchemy room. And in here we have brewing stands and everything you might need for potion making. And this room also connects out to our balcony. Alright, so that's it for the second floor, and now we just have an attic space. And this final level was designed by my friend, Admirables MC. He's an amazing builder, and I definitely recommend checking out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. And basically what we have up here is everything else that you might need for survival. So we have a nether portal, some armor stands and decorations. And then in here we have a ton of chests. I don't think you're ever going to run out of storage with this house. And in this final area we have some extra beds in case your friends want to stay over, which I'm sure they will once they see your awesome new house. So that's it for this interior, and a big thank you to Admirables and also the Stubinator who both helped me design this interior. I'll leave links to both of their channels in the description. Alright, so if you're ready then let's begin. Here we have the layout that we used to build this house, and now here's the layout for the interior walls, so place some chiseled stone bricks on top of the black and white blocks. Okay, so once you got your wall layout in place we're going to start by making the floor. So we'll go over to the left side, and across from this wall, break out all of these blocks. And we're going to fill all of this in with polished andesite. Next we'll break out a 2x5 area, with the center in line with that entryway. And then I'll fill this in with red wool and place some red carpets on top for extra texture. Now from this point right here, we're going to fill in everything else to the left with spruce planks. So next, from the front door, facing the back of the house, we'll go over here, replace these blocks with spruce planks. Then we'll dig out all of this behind this wall. And don't go into this entryway and just place in your spruce planks. Alright, so next we're going to make another red carpet. One block away from the door and two blocks wide in line with the doors. And we'll go across and stop one block away from this wall. So just like we did with the other carpet, fill it in with your wool of whatever color you want. And then we'll place some carpets over the top for extra texture. Next, going one block away and one block inwards from the carpet, break out blocks going across, and we'll stop two blocks away from the wall. So that's nine wide, and then we'll go a total of seven back in this direction. And then you can just dig all of this out, and we'll replace that grass with tub. So for the rest of the floor we're going to fill it all in with a checkerboard pattern that uses all stripped oak wood but just facing in alternating directions. So I'll replace those doors that I broke. And I think the easiest way to fill in this floor is to start by replacing every other block of grass with stripped oak wood facing in the same direction. So then you'll end up with a checkerboard of grass and stripped oak wood.
and then replace the remaining grass with stripped oak wood facing the other direction. So that's all of our floors, and next we'll start building up our walls. But first let's place some chests in our storage room because it'll be harder to place them once we have our walls. So basically right next to this three block wide entrance we're going to stack some double chests on each side. So that's three sets of double chests for each side, and we'll build them up five blocks high. So now we're going to actually start building up our walls. Let's start here by the front door, place two blocks on this side and then two blocks on this side. So we'll have a three block gap. Then build up an additional four high on each side. You can place that chiseled stone brick all the way across. Then place three stone bricks and two upside down stone brick stairs. Next go over to this entrance and on the third from the top place an upside down stair. Place four stone bricks on this side and then another upside down stair. Place stone bricks across the top and then we can fill in this side of the wall. Then we'll place our chiseled stone bricks all the way across the top. On the other side we'll just fill this all in with our stone bricks. And we'll match the archway in the second layer and just place those chiseled stone bricks across the top. Over here in the enchanting room, let's build this stone brick up by five. And we'll build this up by five as well. On the second block from the top, let's place some upside down stone brick stairs, and then two more stone bricks. Don't place any chiseled stone bricks here because we'll have a log, but place four here. All right, so that's good for this room. And then going back into our main room, let's start right here. This is gonna be a staircase, so it'll slope up, place one, then two, and then three, and just make it a little bit higher with each block until we get to the height of that chiseled stone bricks. Then we'll build up this side to the same height as that stone bricks, and we'll place upside down stone brick stairs on the fifth block up on each side to make an arch. And we'll just fill in this stone brick. Now for the staircase itself, we're going to use spruce stairs and planks, so place two stairs, and then a 2x3 of planks. Now in this empty area, I'm just going to fill it in, but you don't necessarily have to. And then from here, we're going to go up with our spruce stairs. And I'm also going to place some stone brick stairs to smooth this out. So we'll go up with our spruce stairs until you get to those spruce planks in the wall. And then we'll place a 3x3 three three of spruce planks. Next we'll start working on the roof to divide off our second floor. Let's start over here in our storage area by placing an oak log going across the top. Then place three spruce stairs here and then one on each side of the log. And fill in the rest using slabs. Next back in our main room. Let's start on the third block away from this wall and go all the way across with an oak log. Then skip three blocks and place another going all the way across. Skip three more and place one more oak log. Then on the front wall, right here, we'll place a log going across. But stop it once you get to this last beam. Skip three and place another. Again, stop it when you get to the last beam. This time we'll go over three blocks, and this one will go all the way to the wall. And skip three blocks and we'll have one more going all the way across on the right side wall. Next we're going to fill in all of the gaps in between our logs using spruce top slabs. And just leave this part open where the stairs are.
Alright, so this is what it should look like from below. Next we'll fill in the roof over here. Start with one oak log going across right here. Then skip four blocks and place another. And skip four more blocks and place another, and this one should be against the wall. Then we'll place a log going across right in the middle of this room, on top of these stone bricks. And again, we'll fill in the remaining space using spruce top slabs. So up here we're going to have a different floor, but we'll finish decorating the first floor first. And this is what the roof should look like from below, in case you need to see it again. Alright, so let's start with our decorations next to the front door. Place an armor stand and then a lantern on the shelf and a pressure plate. Then we'll make a shelf using two stairs and a slab, and on it place a pot and a double chest. On this wall we'll place some placeholder blocks so we can get a one wide, two tall painting. And then here above the stairs we'll place two upside down stairs with a slab in between. And I'll place some oak leaves on top with some hanging off. On this wall I'll make two shelves using two upside down stairs for each one. On top I'll place a flower pot, an amethyst crystal, a bell, and then another flower pot. And down below I'll place two brown carpets and a cat on top. I'll move that cat to the middle and then place a pot for a food bowl. And then I'll place a fence post with a lantern. Inside the storage room I'll place a crafting table and a smithing table with a slab in between, and a pot on top of the smithing table. Then I'll use some placeholder blocks to get a one wide two tall painting. And I'll place a lantern hanging from the log. Then this is optional but if you want to you can place a door and surround it with trap doors to divide off the storage room. Or you can also just leave it open. So that's the storage room. Next we'll go back out into the main room. And next to the door place a chiseled stone brick. Then place stone bricks around the door. And three more chiseled stone bricks up here. Right here we'll place a spruce plank, then two cauldrons, two more spruce planks, two upside down stairs, and then one more spruce plank. Place signs on those upside down stairs, and then trap doors on the spruce planks. Next fill one cauldron up with water and place a tripwire hook. Then place a chain on each of these logs and place slabs going across. Then place three chains here, and three here, and two slabs. In this bigger one I'll place three pots with some saplings on them. Then down here I'll place a lantern, a cake, a pressure plate, and then skip one and place a pot. Then over here I'll place a pot with a fern. Now next to this hanging shelf I'll place three smokers, but first I'm going to place campfires in the ground for smoke. And I'll place the smokers on top. Next to the smoker I'll place an extinguished campfire for firewood. Then I'll place andesite slabs one block above the shelf, so this should be one block higher. Then place three walls and three stairs. So this is what it should look like. Next over by this wall I'll place a furnace, and then five spruce planks. I'll place four item frames here, and then spruce slabs in each one. This one will be on the right side, and the next will be on the left. This one on the right side, and then the last one will be on the left side. Then place a spruce sign on each one. Next place a double chest here. Then a lantern, some sea pickles, a pressure plate, and then a flower pot with the flower. Then I'll place five spruce planks and trap doors on those planks. I'm also going to place five trap doors right here and flip them. Then place two spruce planks, two barrels below, and then four more barrels here. Place four tripwire hooks on this wall. Then I'll place four oak leaves at the top with signs on them. And 
Next we'll make our dining room table, so start by placing three spruce planks in the center of this tuff. Then surround it using spruce top slabs. We'll make a chair on each side using a slab with a sign on each side. And then two trap doors in the back. So we'll repeat this chair on the other side. Then we'll make three smaller chairs on each side using just a stair. Above the center of our table we'll place three chains. So this should actually be over one. We'll extend the middle one out by an extra chain. Then place a lantern on each chain. In the center of our table we'll place a flower pot. Then some candles on each side. Then we'll place some oak pressure plates, I'll place three of them. Then a couple of empty flower pots. And finally we'll place a couple of item frames with some food. Alright, so that's it for our main room and storage area, let's just take a look in case you need to see anything again. Okay, so let's head in here to our survival workshop, and we'll start in this smaller room with our enchanting table. Two blocks away from this corner, place your enchanting table. Replace this stone brick with a bookshelf. And then place your bookshelves two blocks high around these two walls. Place a grindstone here and then a chain with a lantern. Then we'll place a barrel and a double chest. Up here we'll make a shelf using two stairs and a slab. And on it we'll place an ender chest with some black candles. And that is our enchanting room. Out here we'll start by making a table under this window, so place two stairs and then a trap door. And on this table we'll place a pressure plate and a pot with a sapling. Then place two chains and a lantern. In this corner we'll make an item destroyer, so dig down two blocks and replace this bottom one with sand. Then break out these four blocks on each side and place a cactus on there. Then we'll just place a trap door over the top. So now you can just open up this trapdoor, drop any items that you want to get rid of onto the cactus, and it'll destroy them. Alright, so next to that trapdoor we'll stack three double chests, and place three trapdoors on each side. Let's go over here now, and we'll start by placing an oak log in each of these corners, and extend it up to the roof. Then place three furnaces on each side, and two stone brick stairs in the center with a chest on top. Then we'll place four stone brick slabs across the top. On the left side I'll place six blast furnaces, and on the other side I'll place six smokers. Up here let's make a shelf using two upside down stairs with two trap doors in between. And on this shelf we'll place a lantern, a barrel, a chest, and then a pot with a dead bush. Next we'll place a chain here and here, and we'll make them two blocks long, and place two slabs at the bottom. Then we'll make a table here using two stairs and a trapdoor. And over here we'll place three trapdoors, and then four more trapdoors going across the top. We'll use two stairs to make a shelf above. Then on this table we're going to place a pot and then an item frame with a shovel. And over here we'll place a smithing table and an upside down stair. A lantern here, and then an item frame with an axe. On this shelf up here we'll place some sea pickles and then a wither skull. Then on the ground on this polished andesite let's place two anvils and then two trapdoors on top. In this corner I'll place two upside down stairs and then a crafting table. A pressure plate here and then a lantern on the crafting table. Then we'll make a shelf using two stairs and a slab in between, and I'll place three chests on top, keeping them separate by holding shift. Then I'll place a stone cutter here and make a chair, using a stair and two spruce signs. And that is it for our survival room, and our entire first floor. So on the second floor we'll start by making a railing for this overlook over the stairs. And to do that, place two oak logs here, two in this corner, and then skip two and place two more. 
skip two again and place two more and two more. So there should be two black gaps in between all of them. We'll make a sideways log going across here, so we'll replace those planks. And we'll turn this into a sideways log as well. Then in between these two black wide gaps, place upside down spruce stairs. And we'll place fence posts on top. Then we'll just place some trap doors on top of the oak logs. Alright, so that's our railing, and now we're going to fill all of this in with spruce planks, and I'll put this on a faster speed. Okay, so now that we got our floor in place, we'll start marking off our walls using barrels. So from this log, skip four and then place a barrel, and connect this to the wall. So you have four barrels, then skip two and place four more barrels. Skip two and place four more. Then here, one block away from that balcony door, place three barrels. Then skip two. And then place barrels going to the wall. You can go ahead and place some spruce doors in these two block gaps. And one door right here. Then right here, one block away from this window, place barrels going across to divide off our two bedrooms. Next, we're going to start building up with white terracotta on top of those barrels. And all of this terracotta will be the same height as the front and back walls, so that's six blocks of terracotta on top of the barrels. So let's go around and add one block of terracotta to these side walls that are one block shorter. Then we'll build up the terracotta over our barrels and go around the doors. And again we're building up six blocks of terracotta on top of the barrels for a total of seven. Now that we have all of our walls in place, we're going to start building up the next floor. So right here, and I'll just show you where we are relative to the stairs, we'll place an oak log going across. Then skip four and place another one going across. Skip four again and place another, and this one should be against the wall. Then against this wall, place a log going across. Skip 4 and place another. And skip 4 again and place another. Skip 4 again and place one more and this should be against the wall. And before we fill this in we'll make a ladder going up to the next floor. So right here two blocks away from this wall we'll place some spruce trap doors. And we'll leave it one block above the ground, and then place some ladders on those trap doors. Now that you're up here, you can place some spruce top slabs in between all those logs. And for this one that's directly above the stairs, we'll have a 2x2 two two of full blocks in the center. And on those full blocks, we'll place some chains with lanterns. And we're going to make each one a different height, so we'll have one that's 1, one that's 2, one that's 3, and then one that's 4 chains long. And then we'll place some lanterns on those chains. Next, we'll go into the bigger bedroom. And here we'll place a log on each side, going across. And then we'll place some top slabs to fill in the rest. For the smaller bedroom, we'll do the same thing.
And then in this little closet, we'll just place slabs at the top. In our alchemy room, we'll place a log going cross on each side in between the windows. And fill in the rest with slabs. Okay, so now that we got all of our walls and the roof in place, we're going to start decorating, starting down here at the bottom of the stairs. So down here, place three item frames, and in them we'll place some various saplings. Up here, we'll place two 2x2 two two bookshelves, with trap doors on top. I'll place a lantern here on the ground, and in this corner I'm going to make a desk using two upside down stairs with a slab in between. We'll make a chair using a stair and two spruce signs. We'll make a shelf above the desk using two upside down stairs with a slab. And another shelf one block higher, again using the same two stairs and a slab. On the desk I'll place a lantern and then an item frame with a book. And on this shelf I'll place some candles, a flower pot, and then a wither skull. And I'll place those signs on the chair that I forgot to do before. And on this shelf, I'll place a chest and a pot on each side with an oak sapling. Okay, so next let's make a little two block wide carpet. We'll start in line with this oak log, break out these two blocks and go all the way across. And we'll stop it right here in line with this oak log. Place in wool of whatever color you're using. And then carpets on top for texture. In this little area over here, let's place two smokers and then some cobblestone walls leading up to the roof. Then we'll make a table with some chairs, so start with four oak stairs. We'll place a fence post in the middle with a pressure plate on top. And then above the table, well actually above the stair, we'll place two chains with a lantern hanging from it. Next we'll use some placeholder blocks to get a one wide, two tall painting. Above the door to the alchemy room, we'll make a shelf using two stairs and a slab. And on it we'll place a chest, a barrel, and then a pot with a red tulip. Next I'm going to place two spruce signs on top of each set of doors. I'll use some placeholder blocks to place a 2x2 two two painting right here. And then in between these two doors I'll break out some of this white terracotta. Just break out the blocks where the walls intersect. Then I'll place a spruce stair and dig out these two blocks. And on top we'll place an armor stand with whatever armor you prefer. And a lantern on top. Alright, so that's it for our little loft area. And next we'll do the bedrooms. Let's start in this big bedroom. And place two beds of whatever color you want. Then place a 2x2 two two painting above it. Starting at the foot of this bed, we'll make a 3x5 carpet. I'll place the wool down first and then some carpets on top. Next we'll make a 2x2 two two bookshelf with a lectern on the ground. On top we'll place a lantern and then an empty flower pot. Then we'll make a shelf going all the way across using trapdoors. Place an empty flower pot. Then a grindstone and a double chest on this side. Against this wall, let's start by placing three barrels. Then I'll place five spruce trap doors on each side. Then on this wall above the door, I want to make a 2x4 painting. It'll be that karate painting, and the left side will be in line with the left side of the door. Next going back over here, I'll place three chests separately by holding shift. Then three slabs above. And on there I'll place a barrel and a double chest, and then three more slabs at the very top. And on here I'll place a chest, and then a flower pot with a flower and a dead bush. Finally, I'll just make a little bench here on the ground using two oak stairs and two oak signs. So that's it for this bedroom. Now for this smaller bedroom. 
Let's start with this little closet. I'm going to play some glowstone against this wall just to keep it light. Then we'll place some double chests, and we're going to have to go on the outside and break these blocks to place the chests. So let's place those chests in there now, and I think you can only see the bottom three chests. So only place three at the bottom, don't place all these other ones that I'm placing. And I'll just replace this painting that I broke. So going back inside this room, let's place a bed. Then I'll place a scaffolding and a bookshelf and a lantern on the bookshelf. Then I'll make a 2x2 two two painting on this wall. I'll place two chains on each side of this log with three trap doors going across. And on the trapdoor shelf I'll place a pot with a fern. On this wall I'll place three slabs and a chest with some candles and an amethyst crystal. And the final touch for this room will just be another red carpet. This one will be a little bit more random, so I'll just start by placing some wool. And then I'll place the carpets on top. Alright, so that is it for our bedrooms. Next we'll start working on our alchemy room, which is through these doors here. And we'll start by placing three upside down stairs for a table. With three brewing stands on top, and then a trap door on each side. Then over here, in line with the doors, we'll place two upside down stairs with brewing stains on top and trap doors on each side. In this corner, I'll place two cauldrons, one with water and a tripwire hook and the other empty. Then I'll place a pot on the ground. In this corner, I'll place an oak log and then some extinguished campfires for firewood. On the other side of the door, let's place two smokers. Then let's make a shelf using two trap doors and on it, I'll place a pot with an azalea tree and a skeleton skull. I'll make another shelf over here again using two trap doors. This time I'll place two flower pots with two different flowers. Then I'll make a one wide two tall painting next to this window. Then I'll make one more trap door shelf on this side, two trap doors, a flower pot with a flower and then some sea pickles. Then I'm going to place three sideways logs, one block below the roof, and a fence post holding it up. And I'll place some hanging roots hanging off of it. I'm going to extinguish these campfires, I forgot to do that before. I'll place a lantern hanging from this log. Then I'll make a bigger shelf using two stairs and a slab. And on it I'll place a crystal, a crafting table, and an inner chest. And then I'll place two chains with a lantern hanging off. Next in the center of this room I'll make a 3x5 area of polished andesite. And I think it's actually one block closer to the door so it's not completely centered. Then I'll place three barrels in the center of this andesite. Place a pot on one side and then an oak pressure plate on the other. An item frame with a shovel in the center. Then for some additional decorations I'll place some vines on one wall and just let them grow free. And I'll place some glow lichens on this wall. Finally, we're going to need some nether wart for our brewing, so I'll go around and place some soul sand in the ground with nether wart on it. Alright, so that's it for our alchemy room, and our second floor is complete. Let's just take a little look around before we move on. So as I mentioned at the beginning, my friend designed this final level, I didn't design it so I apologize in advance if I make any mistakes. Alright so let's start by filling in this area from the front to the back with spruce planks. So basically going across right here, and then everything to the right side of the house will fill in with spruce planks. We'll extend this ladder up by one and place a trapdoor on the top. Then one block over will fill this in, and it'll stick out two blocks past that trapdoor, and then three blocks apart will make another wall. Let's build these up to the roof.
Then place three spruce trap doors on each side. And an upside down stair above the trap doors. A trap door in between and then three planks at the top. Place three planks here and then we'll use our cobbled deep slate stairs for the roof. Then place a double chest and a lantern. Over here we'll have our nether portal. So break out these three blocks, not that one, because you don't need the corners. Place three obsidian, and then three on each side and three at the top. So we'll have a three by three portal. Then place three planks on each side. An upside down stair on each side. Then a trap door on each side and one in between. And we'll place spruce planks around but leave a three block gap. And above it we'll place stairs instead of full blocks so we can place some chests. I'll place a double chest and then an ender chest. Then I'll just add some fence gates to block off the portal. Then behind the portal I'm just going to fix up the roof. You can also just fill this in completely if you wanted to. And be careful not to accidentally step in the portal. Anyway, I'll just finish up this roof and then patch up the wall where I came in. And that's our portal. Next I'll place a fence post with a lantern hanging from it right here. Then we'll place some spruce planks going across but leave a three block gap with the center in line with that window. Then continue your planks. We'll build these planks up to the roof. Then on the third block I'll place an upside down stair on each side. Two trap doors on each side and then one in between the stairs. And then we'll fill this in with planks. From here skip two blocks and then place a spruce plank. And we'll build this up three blocks high and then place two upside down stairs. Place two trap doors on each side. Then we'll fill in these planks up to the roof. Next place two upside down stairs with a slab in between for a little table. Place three planks here, then we'll build a wall one block back, and we'll connect it to this wall in an L shape, and we'll just build all these planks up to the roof. And back over here I'm going to fix up this roof, here we'll place a stair, we'll place it upside down so it doesn't connect, then we'll place three chests, and then three more chests on top, place upside down stairs here. Then going back over to this corner next to the balcony, let's place a cobweb in the corner and then a couple of chests. Then here I'll place a plank, a barrel with a slab on top, and then a slab. And I'll place an armor stand on each one of these. Then I'll place a pot with an azalea tree and then some azalea leaves. Right here I'll place five bookshelves extending out. I'll place a pot with a sapling here and then an empty pot here. Then we'll fix up this roof using our cobbled deep slate stairs. And we'll curve this one around in an L shape. Once you get to the armor stands, leave a space where that top one is. Then place a slab on each side instead of those stairs. Then we'll continue with our stairs. When you get to right here, fill this in with full blocks. One more row of stairs. And then another row of stairs on the other side. Next let's place some armor on those stands. You can use whatever armor you want, but I'll place diamond at the top, then iron on the left, and leather on the right. So on this little table let's place a flower pot and then an oak pressure plate. Then I'll place a lantern on the roof. And I think that's about it for this area. Next let's go into here which will be our storage room. On this terracotta in the logs place spruce slabs. 3x2 area, then place 6 more planks extending out. Next starting from these slabs we'll place barrels going across. And we'll do that on both sides. Then we'll fill in the rest of this using planks. Then I'll place a row of spruce planks on each side under the deep slate. And 
Next we're going to start stacking up our double chest two blocks high going all the way across on both sides. And you might need to break out some of these blocks to place that final set of chests. Alright, so now we'll place one more row of chests on top like so. And at the end just place a single chest. Now we're going to repeat this on the other side. Now that we got our chest in place, we'll fix up the roof by placing a row of upside down stairs on each side. And then we'll place full blocks at the top. Under this window we'll place three upside down stairs, then a crafting table, a grindstone, and a pot with a sapling. And finally we'll just place some lanterns on the roof. We'll have three lanterns with three blocks in between each one. And now we just have this one final area. So let's build up some spruce planks right here and place an upside down stair at the top on the third block up. Go over two blocks and build up three spruce planks and place another upside down stair. Then we'll just build these planks up to the roof and we'll continue it over on this side. On each side of this entryway place two trap doors. Now over here three blocks away we're going to place some barrels. And they can be upright or sideways, I'm going to do a mixture of both, and I'll build it up to the roof. And on the fourth block I'll fill it in with spruce planks for the roof. And you might want to add a lantern or something up there so no mobs spawn. Down here I'll place an anvil and a stone cutter. Then I'll place a grindstone and a lantern. Now through this entryway, Let's start by placing two chests on each side and then two beds in between. Place three trap doors on each side. And then two more at the top. Here we'll place a barrel with a lantern on top and then a double chest. Then we'll place a pot with an azalea tree and some azalea leaves. Place four planks here and then we'll place two chests on each side and two beds in between. And again we'll place three trap doors on each side and two more on the top. Over here we'll place a chest and here we'll place a barrel with another lantern. Then we'll fix up the roof using upside down stairs, cobbled deep slate stairs. And finally we'll just finish up this room by adding a rug. We'll start at this entrance, and I'll start with some wool just breaking it in kind of randomly. It'll go in a T-shape from the beds out the door. Then I'll place some carpet. And you'll have to have some wool under the trap doors because you can't place carpet there. And then that's it for this room, and our entire house is complete. I'll turn off this night vision, and then I'll go around the entire house again in case you need to see anything that you might have missed. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention before, if any areas are getting too dark for you, then you can place some glowstone behind the paintings like this. 
That way it'll add some light, but you won't be able to see it. Okay, so this house is completely finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the last video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more building content like this, I'd definitely appreciate a sub. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.